Hello and welcome to a new episode of the Falls. Last episode we built the Nether theme. In this episode, as you can see, we're going to the end. This is not the end of the Falls. Um, doesn't work now, but will be an end portal thing here with scope blocks. Then you can fall through, and then you're in the end. Um, I've built at least for the rooms in the end, but that's Start is the first room. This room is a parkour room, and not as much as parkour as just moving. But it's just not not just walking; it's flying with shulkers. So there will be some shulkers that shoot you, and you have to go from well place to platform to platform, to end island to a piece of an end city, and so forth. Until you get to the exit, um, that's the ID. I have not planned anything, so this will be inter interesting. But yeah, let me make a layout and see what I can do. I laid out a path that works. Oh, so, not the final design for the filters, but I should do. This is about the final design. No, you can go to the next, and you should not be able to move to another one. But now maybe, but no, you're not able to do go there. So there's only one path possible. They go from the ground to there, to there, to there. There, there, and to there, and then to the exit. But yeah, this is not good design. This does not look great. So, I think it's time to make this look a lot better. And of course, as you can see, this will look density. It's my ID. I don't know how I'm going to achieve that, but. You will see in the next clip. And this is what the city looks like. So I've looked and this forgot the bottom one here. But you have these boxes. Where if you stand on them, it comes out and it can shoot you. And immediately, immediately closes again. It doesn't shoot you again. They can go to the next one. But I will die if I do that. Then you go over there and so yeah, there are three entities and a boat of course. With another shulker. I mean near this is the exit. It's a bit small, but it would be weird to make a big exit here. And you go into the next room. But as you can see the room is not done yet, this won't do. So one we need something to land on here. Otherwise we'll die. We don't want that, and we need something to get you up there. Another house or something. And then when I need to put, uh, put the roof on, we of course need some more light. Because it would be, be very dark in here. And lastly, I will plant some quarters plants around here. I hope that they don't grow too much. But I will see. I'll do that and I'll be back. When you jump down now, you are safe. At least for 8 of the blocks. This one not safe. But yeah. Nothing I can do. Then there's a shulker here. So you can get up to the first building. And uh, maybe even second. I don't mind that. I have put the roof on it. And now it's pitch black here. Of course, plants are here. And everything is a bit lit up. I've lit up the cities more than the floor, so. Gives this nice effect. And I think that is this room done. Now we can move on to the second room of the end theme. This will be a bit of a personal room with chorus fruit. But let me first lay out something. 
I don't know how it's going how it's going to be and how it's going to work exactly. So let me figure that out. And I can explain. But yeah, that's one room done. On to the second. The islands and stuff are in. I have a concept of, of the level. So you start over there on here. And these plants will randomly drop a quarter fruit. So pick up the quarter fruit and you have to travel around. You can probably make some jumps like that. Which I don't want you to be able to do. But it's really hard to make it so you can't really jump at all. Because you can only have an 8 block distance. So that's a bit of a problem. We have these islands. We have to get around. We have to get, try to get to the to these little shrines. You have to set on the pressure plate. And I'm gonna make it so that in the beginning there's only one of these. And then when you step on the pressure plate, another one appears. And then another one, and another one, and another one. So it goes... Uh, It's all up here, and then when you step on the last, last one, this one will open or appear. I don't know. The door will appear. I don't, I don't know yet, but something will happen to this. This is the exit. Now we'll build, make it bigger. Otherwise, it's a bit weird. I think. Like this. But, yeah, I have to put, so I have to put that stone in that the uh, course fruit will randomly drop somewhere. Uh, sometime, not somewhere. It's drop it on one place for each plant. It will just appear randomly. It will not be every 5 seconds, it will just be somewhere between. 5 and 10 seconds or something like that so I will do that and you will see the result and it's not working so if you turn it on and go over here um, yeah as you can see somewhere at the time Can't really see it because it's the number one in nine chance every often. You see there, now uh, it's dropped here. Uh, so of course it spawns, and when you stand on this pressure plate, the middle one appears. This one appears. I want to do some particle effects around it but I'll do that in the last phase of the building making it pretty and then the final building appears um, so this is the level it's not the best level I've made so if you have an idea in how, on how to improve this level please put it down in the comments or even if you want Definitely for a completely different different level. Play it. Maybe I will build it. I'm not most happy with this level. And so now it's time to put the roof on it, light it up, and yeah, petify the last things. Put some part of effects on the buildings. When they appear. Some sound effects or something like that. And then we can call it this room done. And with this room now done, the lighting and part of particle effects are in. And done again. Um, it's time to go to the and finish the boss room or make it. Finish it. We haven't even we haven't even started it. And yeah, same as the last rooms, I will do something and then show you 
my what I've been thinking for the boss room. The, all the other rooms, I have a fake ID, but not a real ID. So I will figure something out. The arena is now finished. These the build part. I have to put on the roof and do the lighting. But these are the buildings. So you enter through this smaller building into the arena. You have the uh, symbol, the star. You have in every arena room. And you have some floating islands to make it a bit more special and in interesting. So yeah, and your goal is to get over there. And now of course it's closed off. But now we need to put the mobs in. And the mobs are of course are gonna be enemite. And the man and oh they attack each other. And the man is sugar. Apparently the enemites I forgot that they don't go well together. But it'll be shulkers and enemies. Unfortunately. I do want to have right. Yeah, that won't work. Maybe maybe if he die. And then dies. And I need to spawn. Teleport, teleport proof. Dire. Drowning area. I don't know where he went. But this, the man is gone. Is he gone? Oh well, um, I'm gonna work on the spawning of the mobs and think of an idea how to do it. And I'll be back when I figured out how the fight's gonna be. The whole room is now done, so you have all these islands floating around, and we have this again the, the circle in the middle. Now, if you stand here. Door closes and then the boss appears. And we have a boss bar now. And we start killing it. But then uh, then it's yeah it's spawns five and a might. When you kill those, then the door will open. Or does the door open? That will be a question for next episode. But yeah, and I should try to make it a bit more difficult. Probably they shoot at you and you have to kill them first. Um, that is as far as for now. It's for the room done for now. I will tweak this, of course, and play with the amount of shulkers. But that is this room done, and that is everything done for this episode but i will show in the next clip some how some of the command blocks work if you're not interested in that well skip to the end and if you're interested in that just go watch it and before you go i have one question people who don't are interested one question what would the name of the enderman be now i have the ender balls but that's not a good name who calls the boss a boss the ender boss needs a better name so put your suggestions down in the comments and let's go to the command blocks let's start with the second room because the first room doesn't really have any command blocks but in this room this is the randomizer for each chorus fruit plant so every module is the same except the location a bit different but it sets a block a redstone block this could have been much easier made much easier i just followed that but and then it sets the same block to air i could have skipped this whole step but i didn't and then when you go inside uh, in here 
uh, see here somewhere here block underneath this block is set to add stone and then this summons the an item four blocks higher and then it's a quarter fruit this, that's how it works um like this and then if you go outside again and remove this one this is just a clock and then a randomizer and one and nine so if it's the boots then it drops because I'm taking a signal off the side now for each course plant there's a randomizer then on this side, every time you step on a pressure plate on the pressure plate, it sets the blo a block to redstone and then to air again. And that's this one of these blocks. I don't know which one. I think this one. And then it puts out a iron legging. And then each time it shoots one out, it increases signal. Then it clones the building to a place to one of the islands and clones this one is piece underneath building so that so you can't pass it twice and then until the end where it uh, clones this building so yeah that's the clone command just from this area to this area on that block I have the, the port sound and the particles and this is just a reset so press it and then it completely resets and that's all the command blocks for this room and for the boss room it's a bit more difficult and maybe I also could have done it easier but over here we have a closing thing for the door through which you enter that's this these this animation here so the door closes as you can see and it plays some sounds I think that's the sneak peek sneak peek for the animation when you finish it and then over here it says some text from the closed player and then you have element spawn with some sound and some particles that put the teleport noise and this is a particle and then it sets the boss bar to visible so you can see it and they have some text on a dark purple name text and then the boss and again some text and this one um, make sure the health bar is the boss bar is has corresponding health to the enderman that gets the health uh, data from the from this entity the enderman with a tag boss so there's only one so that's make sure you have the correct health and then this one checks if it, it's still alive so it executes only when the entity the enderman is gone and then it sets the end boss bar to false visible to false so you can't see it anymore then it just spawns a lot of a lot of shulkers from different locations with no new table and persistence so they don't despawn and the end of boss is the same but it also has it does drop a pearl because it's in its hand 
and this will be come back later and it has a text false and a color for the name then if you look here uh, it's not a shocker but then this executes only when the entity is the enemy is gone and then uh, it spawns a lot of endemites going in front you spawn and execute it as the ender pearl that dropped when an element died and at the end at the ender pearl and then you summon an endemite at the ender pearl so when the element dies make sure the might spawn at the location where the element died and it kills the ender pearl so you don't see it and this checks if there's an enderman and when there's no enderman anymore it sets this block to redstone you have a slight delay because otherwise it will go on because it takes a tick or so for an to spawn but then it check here it checks for the enemite because, because it takes a tick for an to spawn it immediately goes through and we don't want that so there's a bit of a delay and then it sets the block over here to redstone and this is another clone uh, command for the finish and it opens uh, here uh, the door to the next room and that are all the well not all the commands because there are a little bit more for setup for setup of the boss bar so you can set it, set it make the boss bar Oh, no, well, that's that's to change the name. How many? Uh, this is how many bars there are. You see these slices. This is twenty. This is set to add one. So you name give it a name, and then the name of the boss and the color. And you set the color of the bars itself. Uh, how much health it has. maximum health and then visible or not that are the other ones that are also the above but if you want to get a real explanation from the commands you just look on a tutorial on youtube that's how i learned it there are a lot of tutorials so just search for it and there are plenty of short videos to explain it all because i don't have good demonstration for it in this world but that are all the command blocks for the end section and well that's it for this episode let's go inside we did a lot again a lot of work oh, well now you see uh, it but All the wrong buttons that's it for this episode see you in the next one and like and subscribe if you liked it share your feedback and good bye